Hey guys, Vern Danke, Click and Picket. Today I'm going to show you how a road, a concrete road, is poured in most of the streets of the Philippines. And it's not involving large machines to bring in the concrete. A lot of it's done all by hand. Let's check it out. Hey, 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 Vern. Today we find ourselves in Sabulan City, Kang Mating, Philippines, and we are here for a concrete road pouring. And the first thing needed is coarse industrial gravel brought in by the truckload. And the next thing we need is a sand that is often sifted by hand. And last but not least, our premium cement mix that is brought in by the bagful. Once the ground is leveled, the concrete forms are laid out and this will contain the concrete once it's poured out. Here the men scoop the gravel into the bags and what this does is it allows us the same amount of material to go into each batch that is necessary to make everything consistent. Now I came late to the last pour, so I didn't get to see them actually mixing it, but I was told that they use four bags of gravel to two bags of sand to one bag of concrete mix, and then they add water to get the consistency the way they need it. So talk about a lot of work. Once it's mixed up, it's poured onto the ground, and then it is shoveled into the forms until it's to the top and level. And it's a lot of work, but that's how it's done in the Philippines. All right, so let's take a look at some of the basic tools that are involved in this process. Our first hand tool is a spade shovel with a bamboo handle. Now bamboo is two to three times stronger than hardwoods and considerably lighter. And we have two more types of shovels, a flat bladed shovel and a curved inner type spaded shovel. As far as tools goes, this is the heart of any concrete mixing operation. This is a four stroke single cylinder 7.5 horse Robin gasoline engine. In many places in the Philippines, they're grateful to even have a mixer because quite often, everything is done with a bucket, a shovel, and mixed on the ground. So once the concrete forms are filled, then the next step is to smooth out the concrete. And this takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of effort to get it right. The idea is to push the solids down while floating the fluid parts up to the surface. And this will ensure that we have a smooth surface to drive on. The men will move the board as needed along the length of the pour until each section is completed. Quite often they work in teams and they each have their own section on each side of the board that they work and that helps to be able to smooth out more area at one given time. A couple of the hand tools that were not covered in the tool section are these hand trowels. We have one that's made of wood and one that is made of steel and without these smoothing out the concrete would become impossible. The end is almost in sight, I can taste it now. And once we're done with this task, there will be one more job to complete. And the last thing is to make grooves in the concrete with our whisk room. And this man is doing a fine job and I told him he is awfully groovy. Go groovy guy, you rock. Now the guys work to clean out the inside of the mixer. This is one of the most important cleaning tasks. And last but not least, the engine is removed and it's taken off and put to the side where it will be safe for the next day. This is quite a desirable thing and it needs to be taken care of. That's it. Now you know how to make a concrete road. Thanks for watching. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, Vern. 